Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Father Barry, The Daily Word, and we're at Monday, May 17th. Let us pray. O oh God, merciful God, we pray we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances of this uh, Easter season. Now we're in between Ascension and Pentecost. As we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to go back to the Acts of the Apostles. So Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. And he said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? And they answered no. And so when he heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, the people by Paul. And again, when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So baptism and confirmation, sometimes received at the same time by adults, or it can be received by a child, baptism in a little, and then confirmation with the laying on of hands when they reach that mature age, which we now think is 14. But I've done a number of confirmations of adults who are joining the Catholic faith, joining the Christian faith, and they need to be baptized. So they say that we've been partially formed, just like the people here in Ephesus, but we, we, we know some things now. And so they say, well then, okay, then we'll baptize you. So this is uh, the ministry of Paul, and one of the things he does is baptisms. So you can be a bishop and you're still doing baptisms. But only a bishop can do confirmation unless he delegates a priest at Easter Vigil or some other special time. It's really a sacrament we try to reserve for the bishop, and we want the bishop to come out and meet, meet those who are getting their third sacrament of initiation and to experience the, the shepherd of the local church, like the Church of Washington. And we actually have a bishop and three auxiliaries, so you can get any one of those four uh, to come and do a baptism. I mean, do a, do a confirmation. But I do remember some bishops coming out to parishes and doing baptisms, and uh, it's kind of cool to see for me, and weddings too. So even though bishops seem to be, you know, doing a number of tasks these days managing the church, I think they probably still enjoy very much uh, just doing mass in a church, doing a sacrament, um, even hearing confessions, and and just experiencing, uh, you know, the sacraments of the church, because that's what priests are meant to do. The people of God, too, we enjoy seeing it, don't we, and having a part in it. So many times the person that's getting baptized and getting communion and getting confirmation is there because of someone in the church that reached them, that helped them know more about the Lord and, and then became interested in, in living in a parish and uh, connecting. Uh, I, I love those situations when people find somebody and bring them here. Uh, God love, God love y'all for your works of witnessing to the faith. I'll see you tomorrow on May 18th for another Daily Word.